Hello, I'm Julie Cronshaw. I've been teaching Chiquetti Method Classical Ballet in London for more than 25 years. I graduated from the Royal Ballet School Teachers Training Course in 1986 and danced professionally before setting up my own school. I'm a Fellow of the ISTD in the Chiquetti Method and hold the Enrico Chiquetti Diploma. Most recently, I've made a film called Ballet's Secret Code, which is available on this channel. And for more information, content and even more videos, you can go to the website balletsecretcode.com. I hope you enjoy this video. In the film, I've used terminology which we use in Chiquetti Method, and it's slightly different from the terminology used in other systems. So for example, there are, as you know, five positions of the feet, or they should really be the legs rather than the feet, but that's fine. Um, and Chiquetti has five positions of the arms which are slightly different to those used today. And on the film, for example, when I say fifth en avant, this is this position here. And the first position is in Chiquetti method with the arms by the side of the body. And it's not a position that is used statically, it's a position in transition. So for example, when we do these beautiful pour de bras of Chiquetti, the arm may go past the side of the thigh, so it drops down past the side of the body to go somewhere else, either to perhaps go backwards or forwards. And we use that position as well, the first position to go up into the fifth en avant in the preparation of a jump. For example, a, gr um, a grand jeté en tournant, which is sometimes called an entrelacé in other systems. So that's one of the intrinsic differences that there are between the Chiquetti method arms and arms used in other systems. The other thing that Chiquetti does with his port de bras, which I think is really important for people to know, and I have talked about it in the commentaries, but there are rules in port de bras, and in these rules, um, you have to balance the arms. So for example, if an arm is high at the front, it is low at the back. Um, or it's balanced at the side, so both arms will be at the same height at the side, and so on. And Chiquetti wanted his dancers to have this perfect coordination of the arms. So in some instances, one arm may have to move more quickly than the other arm in order for both of them to reach their final, uh, their final destination. And the idea also is that the arms move harmoniously and coordinated and they don't stop and jerk or get stuck out at the side like, you know, some kind of scarecrow. They are supposed to frame, frame the movement and always look elegant. Now there's also something very, very important which I think people need to know and that's, you may notice Salvo and Muriel in the films when they're standing usually in quasi, the head is slightly inclined towards the back foot this is a, a position of trust. You might be interested to know that exposing the neck is an evolutionary sign of trust. It's a position that, that suggests the dancer is listening, the dancer is preparing to do something, and it's also opening out the back of the body. So it creates a bit of breath in the back of the body and a sense of a gathering ready for the movement to arise out of that. And then the enchaînement can begin. Again, this is quite different from today where dancers tend to be a lot more upright and with a strong head turned towards the audience. Chiquetti might well have found this very unattractive because it's aggressive and it's sharp. His dancing is centered around the human being and it is about expression, it's about communication. This, as I'm talking to you right now, it suggests that I'm looking and I'm listening. Um, and this is one of the reasons that we also start these exercises with the feeling of I'm about to come from the back towards the front. So imagine that, that I'm on stage as a dancer and I'm wanting to communicate something with you. I've got various options. I could stand here like this or I could stand here like this. It's a very different communication. Again, something that I found really interesting that I would just, when I was at school and I was working with Richard Glassstone was using our eight directions of the body. 
which is a, a, a wonderful, again, exercise that built on the theoretical principles. Notice that Chiketti calls it directions of the body, not positions of the body, which also indicates that movement is implied. And each one of these directions of the body also has a very definite communication implied within it. So for example, the quasi devant, which we all recognize in most systems, the head is looking out there, or sometimes it's looking out to the audience there. In Chiketti, again, we must balance the arms. So if the top arm is high, the bottom arm is slightly lower and it's going down to a demi-second position. And I'm not looking out like this aggressively, but I am saying, my heart is open, my arms are open, this is my quasi devon. There's a lot less strain. We have a quasi derriere, and again, the head is inclined, and I'm communicating differently again. It's not this way, it's this way. It's almost as though you're picking something up and looking underneath. This is to Chietti a more pleasing aesthetic. It's almost as though you're dancing inside a giant ball. The écarté is a direction of the body where the head turns. So this is a very strong, dynamic and directional position. We tend to take them a little higher these days, but Chiquetti's would have been a little softer and with the arm, rather than being over the head, is taken out more towards the diagonal. So this is a Chiquetti Ecarte from Chiquetti's day. Again, most of us tend to do it a little bit higher, but this is the original one. It has a completely different communication quality. It almost looks as though you're, you're, you're turning your head and looking out to somebody who is maybe sitting in a box and communicating to them. Just a reminder, I've made a film called Ballet Secret Code. It's a one hour documentary available on YouTube on this channel for free. It took a long time to make, I'm very proud of it, and it's all about ballet technique. You can find it on YouTube or click on the link below.